And I said this last week in my video after the Penn State game, after rewatching several plays several times, is that the one thing I did like about the run game last week is that there were certain plays up the middle. I believe I gotta I gotta confirm what my X's and O's guys, my um, you know, uh, who can confirm the the type of plays they were running. But it looked like a trap play up the middle that was working against Penn State, and I think we saw it again today. That's, that's what it was against um, uh, with with Henderson who took it up the middle for the touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I was right. So that play, that wasn't the only time they ran the play. They actually worked a few times against Penn State, sprinkled throughout that game. That was a successful winning play. Our old line blocks that well. For whatever reason, we're struggling with the stretch plays. And, of, mm -hmm. and of course, the, the pitches, the short pitches now. to the short side of the field. You, you said what, Corey? We have for years now. Like the last two, since 2020, yeah. we've struggled with stretch plays. Right, right, right. So um, so I'm saying that it's not just, oh, the, the O-line can't, you know, can't block enough or be physical enough. That's a part of it. But there's certain plays that they actually they're just blocking better and it's, they're, they're just more productive. So we need to make sure that we're calling the plays that are actually working and and adjusting off of what maybe we're doing is not working and make the defense kind of overreact. We just need to do something a little different because mm. we are a little predictable, you know, with some of our run plays, you know, I get it. They shouldn't be able to stop it anyway, but they have been. So we have to kind of change some things up man. we're just too predictable in, in, in some regards with the run plays. But I did like how against Penn state, for example, we came back off the mat, hit them mm. in the mouth and finished the ball, the ball game, running the ball. Well, like that was a glimmer of like, OK, we, we got something here. Um, but yeah, today was just compoundedly bad. That's, I know that's not a right phrase, but I'm making it up right now because of the elements and everything else going on. It just made it worse. Maya being dinged up. It was just really, really bad to watch. It was really the perfect storm for Northwestern to actually get an upset and they didn't do it. So uh, you got to give Ohio State some credit for that. The silver lining of this is they didn't allow the upset to happen and they took over the game late in the game again. We've got to start off faster than this. We got to play better from the beginning. We got to get up for these games. But you know, again, it's another game where they say, "Okay, we're in a dogfight, but we're gonna we're gonna win the game in the fourth. And they went and did it. And uh, I remember when it was fourteen seven. I was kept telling Steve, "One more score, this that's game. This game's over with," uh, because I did not believe Northwestern could put two scores on us. So 